The first thing that brought me to Mayo Clinic was recognizing that something was not right. I was having headaches on a daily basis. The headaches were so debilitating that I think that they had an effect on my memory. It was terrifying. This word right here? Nicole had a lesion that was located in her dominant hemisphere. So one of the main concerns in Nicole's case was the lesion is in a highly important area of the brain. When the bleeding happens, it's a high pressure bleed and can cause a lot of damage. The mortality is up to 15% and the morbidity from that to people becoming disabled is much higher than this. I have the seven and a half year old. Her name's Lydia. My worst fear was not being able to see Lydia grow up. <laughs> AVM are very rare. As a physician, as a one person, you have an idea about how to treat the patient, but it's safer and it's better for patients to pull more thoughts into the treatment plan. And that's why it's essential to have a conference uh, between colleagues. In Nicole's case, we had multiple treatment options, but every specialist thought that the treatment for this was surgery. The outcome, I mean, it couldn't be guaranteed, but I trusted them fully. I did everything I could to try to prepare Lydia. I knew we were facing quite a battle. I created a memory box so that she would have something tangible, knowing that I was thinking of her during the whole thing. She and I read together every night. In warm, supportive hands. One of the things that I put in the memory box for her was a, a book that I recorded reading to her. A prayer to your guardian angels, angels of God. So that she would have that. Bright sunny days, deep wishing wells, sparkling blue oceans, and a winged messenger inspiring you with happy notions. Any time you're doing surgery, there is risk. There is no surgery that is zero risk. When you look up into a crystal clear night sky and an awesome shooting star catches your searching eye, attach your dream to that star. You need a high level of skills. You need high level of expertise. And you need an institution where the focus is the patient. For your mind and your heart, and warm, supportive friends to help you. As a surgeon, I feel very happy to see patients where uh, I make a difference in their life. But the patient's outcome after complex surgery does not depend only on a specific surgeon's skills. It depends on a chain of skills that are needed from start to end. Ever this day be at my side. Amen. <laughs> That's a sweet book. Today when I think back, I think of how I'm incredibly blessed. I have not struggled with headaches. I'm not on any medication. I am incredibly grateful. I hope for other people is that they're able to see that there's hope. That the Mayo Clinic can help and that you're not alone.